And would you look at who it is? On it! <laughs> it's, it, it's a really, really challenging spot, Dad, to pick what your composition No, That... Oh, the light on the islands is absolutely beautiful. I ventured over now to the left hand side of the pier and what that does is it opens up the whole cliff face below me. And what I've done is I've stopped right at a bunch of sea pinks. You can probably just see them here below me. And by using that as an anchor in the bottom right hand corner of the frame, and now with the light as well now hitting the island still, I think it's a lovely photograph. My settings at the moment actually are at F10 and I'm at one fifth of a second and my ISO is at 100. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing on these sea pinks and I'm also going to take a second shot and just for safety, to have focus as well on the pier below so that's not going to be soft because these are quite close looking at it here using the peaking it does seem as if everything is going to be sharp but i'll take that second shot anyway just to be on the safe side but yeah gorgeous light now sun is just about to break the uh, mountains behind me i can see some light hitting the uh, headland that's actually behind me as well here but beautiful morning here oh hang on i'm gonna I'm gonna miss this it's really lighting up here now on the blaskets so i'm going to take this shot and yeah, that is gorgeous. Next I've come down now to the actual pathway that leads down to this winding pier and the interesting thing is is that this is a very very tight pathway and believe it or not people have actually tried to drive down here and got as far as the corner here and actually got stuck. It's used for bringing people from the Blaskets in the past but also now you'll get um, sheep that will come across here as well so if you're lucky enough to come here at the time when the sheep are being brought on the boat from the Blaskets to the mainland you can get a lovely shot from up here looking down with the whole pathway then full winding of sheep but at the moment now the sun is still hitting the Blasket Islands beautifully it's lighting up the top part of the frame and I'm using this wall here that's right behind me as my leading line the whole way through the image leading me down and then out to the light that's going to be in the distance. I'm really, really happy with the shots that I've gotten here this morning. I think it's uh, definitely a spot for sunrise and for, for dawn. I've never done it before, like I said, but so glad now that I have.
this light just won't stop getting better. The sun is right up now. It's lighting up parts of Dunmore Head here, as you can probably just see here in the left-hand side of your frame. I've come down this pathway and I'm right at that point actually where the cars would have gotten stuck uh, before. God knows where they thought they might have been going driving down here, but okay. And as now this light is hitting this area, it's opened up a whole different composition from this well-photographed location. Now, the wall here is giving way, so I've taken the opportunity to be able to utilize that because I can now see a bit of the cliff as well below me. There are well, a small bit of sea pinks that are remaining in relation to that. I can't see the windiness of the pier now, but what I can see is the two stacks that lie just off of the pier. And then, as you can see here with this beautiful light in the distance, which is now starting to stream down closer towards me as the sun will rise in the opposite direction. It's phenomenal here in the morning. I'm really, really enjoying it. I think I've said that one or twice, once or twice already this morning, but I really am enjoying myself here in the Dunquin and Dingle for the morning shoot. Venturing on further down now on this winding pier, and I'm coming to the close to the end of where I actually can go to, but the light now is really, really nice on the islands. Getting a small bit harsh, I'm having to manage this with my uh, graduated ND, but I've come down, because you can see here, there's some uh, sea pinks. So I'm using those in the frame on the left-hand side of the image, and I'm taking a couple of different shots. I'm having to focus stack, so I'm focusing on these because they're really, really close. And then I have the winding pier path that comes through here in a bit of an S-curve. And then I've got the light as well sitting on the uh, islands in the distance. Getting a small bit of the headland now as well, so the sun is catching those as well nicely. But a really, really nice shot nonetheless. Settings-wise, actually, I'm at f11. I'm at one-tenth of a second, and my ISO is at 100. But beautiful shots a number of different ones that i've never gotten before mainly because it's normally teeming with people but because there's nobody here now i have the run of the place to myself albeit like i say with Dermot, who's now above me actually taking his own shots i imagine of this gorgeous light as it still continues to light the islands up here beautifully in the morning sun so i'm back up now after my journey down to the winding pier and what an incredible morning actually it's been to be here at dawn like i said from the outset this is a location that's been shot to death, but I do think I've managed to get a couple of nice shots below here and with the light as well, as you can see here, lighting up in the distance, it's going to be completely different to what I normally would get. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along in this episode. Thank you very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.